Okay, so eBay rant. If you collect antiques or collectibles, um, <clears throat> I am like getting so fed up with their algorithm and their search. So first off, they did away with a lot of categories. There used to be categories and subcategories. So for example, if you collect antique dolls, they would have a subcategory called dolls and bears and you would choose dolls and then it would say antique and under the subcategory of antique, you could choose German, you can choose bisque, you could choose all different kinds of things. They took away that and now it's just basically like dolls and clothes. And so now you have to weed through thousands upon thousands upon thousands of listings. Another thing, if you type in on the search, say a search query, right? They immediately put you into a category and like without you like selecting a category they just put you right into a category um and a lot of times you'll start searching and you're finding a lot less of the items that you usually find until you realize wait a minute they stuck me into a category and then so then you have to manually go in there and you have to uh, manually click on this box and then choose all categories. Okay, another thing. If you type in, say you're looking for antiques, right? Say you go into a subcategory and you're looking for antiques. If you type in the word antique, so now I typed in the word antique, right? And it chose this uh, category for me. Well, actually I chose it, okay? Because I wanna narrow some things down. You know what I mean? 180,000 results for antique and the toys and hobby section. What I notice, okay? I just want to find things with antique in the title. Look at this. Do you see the word antique in this listing? No, you don't. So now I'm finding nothing but junk, like 1980s junk, uh, current junk. Um, do you see the word antique in this listing title? No, you don't. Um, do you see antique in this listing title? No, you don't. Maybe once in a while you'll find the word antique, okay? But most of it, now they're actually supplementing the word antique for vintage as well. So now you're not going to find anything antique. You're going to have to weed through 180,000 listings and it's all crap. 1980s, Sesame Street Muppets. No, I don't want that crap. I want real bona fide Victorian antiques. And so that is my rant, that is my rave. It is asinine, it is stupid. I'm gonna show you another example. So I'm gonna type in antique glass box and I don't want it to go in any category. I want it to be in all categories. All right, so I'm gonna hit search and let's see what happens. Okay, antique glass box. And sometimes you have to sit there and you have to uh, weed through 21,000 results, okay, which is, Absolutely ridiculous. The old way of searching, um, it would be like maybe 300 results, tops, 400 results. Now you have to go through this and you're finding all new shit. All new shit. This is new stuff. Um, this is like current contemporary stuff. That's another rant. Okay, so say, I don't know, I was into fishing stuff, right? And I wanted to find a vintage fishing rod, not something from the 80s, 90s, uh, you know, 2000 time frame. So I type in, Vintage fishing rod. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're going to go to search and say I want to find it in all categories because not everybody puts things in the right categories. You want to find those sleepers, those things that are uh, actually the seller doesn't know much about that you get for a song, you know, like a really good price. All right, so we're going to hit search. And what do they do? Let's see. So sometimes you got to sit there a second because you think it was in all categories. Oh, but no, they just stuck it under rods. So now, okay, vintage pieces are coming up, but you're going to find uh, things that are new, you know, that are like contemporary. Um, it's very, very annoying that they automatically actually uh, give you a category without you asking. Um, I don't know why um, they do that. Why do they put you in a category? I did not ask for a freaking category. And uh, again, you're not going to find old stuff really anymore. It's like they want you to buy this new newly made mass produced shit that's made in China and uh, 5,800 results for vintage fishing rod when um, probably like not long ago, maybe a couple of months ago, you'd find like maybe two to 400 results. Now you got to weed through all this newly made crap that's made in China really pisses me off. So then uh, you have to manually go in there and change it 
to all categories. And look, they even have a vintage section, but they stick you in rods when you type in the word vintage. Really stupid, really asinine. Um, I'm going to show you the doll situation. Wait till you see this crap. All right, so let's just get out of here. I'm going to type in just for shits and giggles. Um, I'm going to type in antique doll. All right, so let's go antique doll. I want to find an antique doll from the 1800s. I'm talking like one of those bisque dolls from the 1800s. Okay, I want it in all categories. Again, it used to have a subcategory for antique dolls. No longer there. They took it away. And, okay, is this an antique doll? Does that look like an antique doll to you? No, it's Barbie. Okay, 210,000 results for antique doll. Um, and look what they put me in. Doll and doll play sets. Um, how freaking stupid is that so that's all you can choose from now is dolls and bears dolls and bears doll clothing and accessories or doll and doll play sets um okay so now i'm gonna have to weed through crap like this shit ashton drake you know like as seen on the qvc or home shopping network at like 3 a.m like the old grannies used to buy those type of dolls they're worth shit they're not even worth 49.95 i wouldn't even actually pay $10 for one of these dolls. Um, someone would have to give it to me for free. Here we go. A Barbie doll. I typed an antique doll. Okay. Ridiculous. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Um, uh, Mattel 2000 Polly Pockets. No, I don't want that. I want an antique bisque doll. Okay. Antique bisque doll. Here, let's try that. Let's change our search query. Let's go into, let's type in the word bisque. Here we go. Bisque doll and of course I'm getting YouTube notifications as I do this video I'm cranky I am very cranky so what I am going to do is we're gonna go into all categories again another YouTube notification fuck off okay antique bisque doll let's see what happens all right yes I'm filming my screen and this is atrocious okay so what happens I get this I get a vintage Japanese warrior traditional composition dress doll yeah this is not old I know antique dolls. Okay, they did leave it alone. They gave me all categories. Let's see, do we get antique bisque dolls? Okay, we do get one here. Um, but we get a vintage doll dress. We get, ugh, I don't know, a Chinaman. I, I'm not being racist. I'm just being pissed right now. Yeah, we get this. This is not an antique bisque doll. Okay, oh my God, look at this crap. Yeah, this is, uh, again, one of those QVC pieces of shit collector dolls that are worth tits on, like useless as tits on a bull. Collector's choice, genuine, fine bisque porcelain posable bean bag doll. No, that's not antique. That's not what I asked for. That's not what I want. Oh, my God. All right, so they're giving you some bisque dolls. Here's a 1970s uh, crying doll. Okay, no, that's not what I asked for. I didn't ask for this either. I didn't ask for Nancy Ann story. Uh, uh, storybook doll which is made out of composition it's not even made out of bisque and no i did not ask for this fake ass you know wannabe antique doll right here uh made in 1986 no i did not ask for that so there you go i'm pissed off rant over um yeah i did not ask for this piece of shit either uh collector's choice vintage wind up musical porcelain doll no i did not want a 1980s doll um sold on qvc and uh yeah, there we go. Here's the more uh, vintage shit. This one, she looks like as white as a ghost. That is not an antique doll. I collect antique dolls. I know, you know, what an antique doll looks like. Here's another 1970s piece of shit. Okay, that's it. Again, rant over. Uh, YouTube, you are assholes. And uh, so now you know what you're up against when you search on um, eBay and you try to find antiques because you're not going to find them. Now you have to weed through over... 19,000 search results uh, full of shit.